All right, y'all butts ready for a new episode? I'm not, really. I'm kind of, you know, waiting, not waiting. What am I saying? I'm kind of ready for this series to end, I think. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty good about the project. It's just, you know, it's becoming less and less recordable, and, you know, the whole Minecraft thing's winding down. So once this is done, that's this series will be over. I might find something else to replace it with. Um, D Dwarf Fortress is going strong, though. But I, I am a little... Dwarf Fortress just doesn't take as long to record. For this, for... What am I looking at? Oh, that's the inside. Okay. Um... You know, Dwarf Fortress just what I just said. It doesn't take as long to record. This takes a whole day usually, because there's so much work to do in between clips. Whereas my uh, Dwarf Fortress not so much. So I'm kind of looking forward to not having to spend my entire Saturday recording uh, Minecraft. Uh, let's see. But let's take a look. I have done things that are worth noting. You know, look at them before credits. Right, so I put in a quarantine field, and actually I indented this whole thing all the way down, as I said I would. But what I found was when I had done that, the steps here became a problem. So I made some insets uh, right here where you can get up into the engineering area. And actually, give me a second, I would like to do this during daylight. There you go. Okay, so here we go. I'll do something about this later. This may actually go up instead to the laser turret in some way. I've cleared out the floors of these rooms because they're kind of probably next to do. And I should go and retrieve my list of things, rooms that this ship needs and review which ones are left to do. But I've got these, these, and so on. Let's see. Uh, more doors went up. And, and every notice there's light now? No, though there was before, but... Uh, oh, that's a pod. That doesn't count. Here we go. Here's a room. So the rooms have changed slightly insofar as they now have lights and slightly less room. I think you can still fit beds there. Um, and many of them have doors. Not all of them, as you can see. Uh, well, they have doors, but not all of them have buttons or doors. So it's a hodgepodge, but it's uh, it's been a work in progress. Uh, but it's work I didn't have to do recording, which kind of helped. And then here at the end, we've reached... Uh, these need doors, but they are unused pods, and so you can see the outer seal is in place. More rooms, and can I make it? Yes, the the front area, the bridge, the I'm not sure what this will all be, but I'm not sure I'm going to tackle this this episode. It's the the stuff, the rooms on the end there, and I think the last of the ceiling connecting the nacelles to the uh, engineering and the whatever, those need work. So that, I think, is what we'll do today. Fools. All right. So I've decided. There, better. Um, that I was going to fiddle with this so that the rail did not try to pass through the uh, the quarantine field thingy. So now this is also a little bit lower down, which makes it more accessible to the ship. Just kind of goes around and around, and you got people who coordinate. Oh, I've got stuff on this side here. I've got stuff on that side. You push it through the field. And you can send it on down to the various, I don't know, cargo pods all along the way. The problem is, it's still very strange because in practice, the ship's cargo pods, well, you got, I think it was 35 cubic meters per, what was it, 6 times 4, this is what, 30, this is 24, and then, so 36, yeah, because it happens again, so, no, no, no. 24, damn it, do I have to do, <laughs> 8 and 12 times 3 is 36, so 36 cubic meters each, or cubic yards, I'm going to say yards, uh, just because it makes more sense for my character, but um, 
I mean, they add up. There are quite a few of them, but the the area back there is so much more voluminous. You think you just have all your cargo there. Uh, but then again, you know, having an extra 36 times, however, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm in, in progress. I've extended it most of the way. I'm going to have to get more of this stuff. And the challenge at the moment, actually, the thing I was doing and figured, fine, I'll record because this is going to take too long. It's here, lowering the uh, quarters to match. So the quarters have more space up above than they originally did. Oops, look at that. That's the wrong mineral type, rock type, mineral type. I don't have the right ones with me either, so I'll have to fix that. But at least now it's obvious. But yeah, I'm going to lower these so the doors... Uh, actually, let me put the doors back in. Boink, boink. Whoops. Boink. I forget they're not the same. It's just strange. Why are these down here and these up here, you know? I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't have done this. Oh wait, wrong game. <sighs> okay, I think I did them all. Boy, so many, so long. It's not how I wanted to do <laughs> my time. But it's a little bit better up there now. Let's see. I almost wonder if the pods... Shh. Let's see, wait a minute. This six, no, five. Is there only like 12 pods total? Hmm. It just doesn't seem worth it. Whoa. Hello, uh, colloquy. So, I should probably turn that off. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's get back to work over there. Mm, 16 and 3, so 19. Oof. I don't know. I'm going to need more than that, I'm sure. But I need, I th I'm going to start labeling things because there are actually quite a few other facilities this ship needs to have that I haven't really planned for particularly well. I should probably do something about these. Bloop. No, that's probably fine. So, we need several things, and what I'm not sure about is how to deal with the fact there's one to either side. But, this is a quarantine area right here, and it will end... Hmm, maybe I need to define the second quarantine area. Maybe there's a... Gosh. I don't know. I don't want this pattern here. It's unfinished, but I don't want this pattern here repeated too many times. So we'll just say that's the quarantine field there. And then what happens is there's a um, security checkpoints. So here's storage, I think. Gosh, I've already forgotten so much. This is like a quarantine spot, so we'll just say... Uh, how do we want to do this? Oh, that's all going to have to move, or come up, too. Uh, well, BG. Quarantine... Whoop. Quarantine... So we know that's what that is. Um, maybe this is just... Oh, I can't do that. Okay, we'll put it on this side. Question marks, because I don't remember... I know it's part of quarantine, but whether why it's different, I don't know. And then here, we have the need for our new room. And I'm going to want it to be down, so let's go around. I don't... Oh, we'll just use basalt. That'll be fine. The only thing is I might yank some of this out. Nah, I don't care. So, this will be our room. Is it the first one? I already went and forgot. Oh, bear with me. It's a delicate procedure, to be sure. Ooh. You know what I've been wanting to play lately so much? I wanted to play Diablo 2. I have it on disk somewhere, but I, my, my computer doesn't have a disk drive anymore. Well, it you know, doesn't have a CD drive anymore, believe it or not. There's a whole other... Okay, so... We've got this, and is this correct? Yes, okay. So we'll want to yank that out at some point soon. But what is this? So I've already just done one of the rooms. But you can see here it keeps going. So that means this is quarantine. Which probably means it shouldn't have doors. These doors should not be here. Let me 
secure this as a means of identif whoops, identifying that these are not supposed to be here. You go through, maybe, ooh, I don't know. Um, but they pass through on their way to medical. Where they're, they're in quarantine before they arrive at medical and they have to get through medical to be allowed onto the rest of the ship. So you can come and go from the back bay freely, but to get into the ship you have to go through some rigmarole, uh, which is completely appropriate. I mean, this is one thing that sci-fi shows always get wrong. Uh, well, estimate wrong. I don't know. It, it, we don't have too many data points for this, but the, what I'm getting at is even everything on life is rel on life. Everything on Earth is relatively related, and yet they cause each other great debilitating diseases all the time. Really, really nasty infections and parasites and all that stuff. And, and and we have a defense. We you know we are built to defend ourselves against this. What happens when you are up against something that is so completely alien that your body can't understand it? I mean, maybe it means nothing. Maybe it means that the uh, the thing itself can't understand us, and they're completely incompatible. But I would es estimate that's a temporary thing. But you need. Well, actually, this is not quarantine. Boop. This is um. Brig, yes, in quarantine, near quarantine, kept near quarantine. <laughs> Storage, I still think. Let's see, which means this is quarantine. Hmm. The only problem with, which means that's a door right there. That's a door, and that's a door, and this is a room. I'll have to put some new things down, but um. I guess I can do this. Uh, medical. The, then the question is, do we really need two medicals? Medical. I suppose if you're trying to... Oops. I suppose quarantine is this room and beyond. Um, I wish you could have signs of different... Of non-wood. But I suppose there's nothing to say you can't have wooden placards in a ship. Uh, they certainly do on um, other ships. But I, I won't worry about the ones on this side. Let's just figure this out. Uh, this should maybe be glass right through here. But here's how you get out. It does not proceed any further. So this is absolutely a medical bay. Let's see. Medical. I cannot tell the difference. What is starboard and what is um, medical? Port. Is that right? Starboard and port. Two medicals is excessive, but I suppose if if the ship is doubling, you know, with all these things, if it's doubling as passenger transport, it may need to be able to process a lot of people. Maybe second medical will double as storage if they don't need it. I don't know. But, I don't know. Let's see, what else is on the list? Health, we need, there's an infirmary and... Ah, okay. Hmm. Maybe that means there is no qu quarantine thing on this side. <sighs> Maybe instead it's one way. You come in this way. Entry. And you go out this way. Exit. Okay. So, what you have here is, um, emergency, let's see, uh, oh gosh, what am I thinking of, quarantine, quarantine, yeah, that's right, and over here instead we have, Infirmary. One is more urgent than the other. And the one that's more urgent is on the way in. How does that sound? Uh, that's roughly... Roughly right. I'll get rid of these. Okay, next. 
Yes, I'm sorry, I'm not doing as much building. I, I guess I said I would only do these, but I probably won't even finish. Let's see, infirmary. We need storage and supplies. That's what's going on on either side. We need... Science is the next thing. So maybe that's what these are. These are... Let me yank this out. Maybe... These are labs. You know, where you can do things like lab work. Okay, so I worked. I uh, took some time off camera. I fleshed these uh, rooms out a little bit, including the uh, security zones here are color-coded. And I actually decided to do the same thing with the, in the uh, medical areas. This might have to be color-coded eventually, but for now I'll leave it alone. I did, yes, in fact, put a ceiling on it, but um, blue kind of says medical, I think, a little bit. So medical on either side, and f for that reason, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, but these should probably be labs. Gosh, I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember what the intent was for some of these rooms. Oh, oh, oh. But you know what I should do is, while I've got you on camera, label more. Now, shoot, we have one, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen rooms. I don't even have enough signs for all these. 14 uh, quarters, that is. So there won't be any up front. They'll all be along the neck. I wonder if that's considered safe. I mean, somebody who knew the design could target the neck. Not that they wouldn't already, because, you know, if you can make all the air evacuate, it's pretty much done for anyways. Then again, each individual room could seal, and therefore it would take a lot more shots to actually do significant damage. Um... And these are all pods, so this is pretty straightforward. I don't have signs for anything else. And unfortunately, here we go. Alright, so... What I was saying before, we need infirmary, quarantine, storage, and supplies. That's all back there. Uh, navigations, metrics, astrogation array, and accelerometer. These are things that would probably be hidden from sight, generally speaking. Or there would be consoles, perhaps. And from the sounds of it, they probably belong back there. So that's not it. Let me scroll. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, but... Ooh, science! We need labs. And another quarantine. Hmm. Hmm, you know, maybe I thought about this before. Well... Hmm. We got infirmary. Quarantine is on either side, so let's say, actually, well, that's that's right, that's right, right. But hmm. Laboratory. So then, perhaps what happens is. I'll use blue on all four. Hmm, quarantine, laboratory. I think these will have to be storage again. Um, equipment. Okay, and uh, med equipment. Until further notice, anyways, which would make this. What, on what side am I doing these things? Okay, leeward, forward side. Uh, laboratory. There may be more than one. One's an inner, one's a secure, and one's an insecure laboratory. Or maybe not. Uh, insecure. <laughs> uh, infirmary. Yeah, that's right. Gosh, like I said, I wish those were different textures. That means rooms all the way down. Alright, let's review real quick. I don't know what to do with that yet. We have laboratory on this side connected to 
quarantine and further Ooh, I didn't put a roof on this one yet. I need to do that. Uh, and storage. And then back up the other side. That's the exit, technically. You come in through this way, if you're a person. Uh, oh, I haven't put a roof here either. I could have sworn that I did. And come out to quarantine. And then medical quarantine. And then you got storage for the time being. I may change my mind about that because I have a list of things that need to go into the ship. Infirmary for inner workings that don't need quarantine and, you know, general rest. And here's a secondary laboratory. Again, doesn't need quarantine. Rooms, 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 all the way down. Let's see. I put, yeah, I put the roofing on these or the ceiling. Apparently, I forgot to do it. On the sides. Oof. I should probably figure out at some point. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to have to do this. Uh, like so. And then ignore the niches in the corner. It's always a little tricky coming around these really tight corners, and I'm not going to be able to do any more, am I? Oops. All right, I have a few more supplies now, but they're friggin' being very uncooperative. I think I did this, right? And then this? And I'll have to do it on this side as well. No. No, I have to do it here, okay, yes. And then like this, and this, and then over here, uh, like th this, no! Like this? And this, it's strange sometimes how they don't want to cooperate. There we go. And then this, this, and this. And here we go. We have a dank uh, brig. And that pretty much sums these up. They're awfully dark. I'll deal with that in time. You can see that it's not all dark all the way down. Hmm. Let's take a look outside, see if there's anything that should be noted from the outside. Boop, 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 doop, 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 doop. Ding dong. Okay, so out here, this I've been closing up the cheat ways of getting around. And yes, I still need to put something over all this. This, these leg parts I'm still uncertain about as well. Let's see, here is the top. Here are the rooms. They look pretty good. That right there, that was the, that was what I just did on either side. I note there's a thing. So that actually makes it a little bit more closed up than it was. This space out here is going to need explanation. And you know what else, this ship's gonna need I mean, I, we've already dis no, we haven't discussed it, but it's already been mentioned that it'll need its laser turret and missile turrets on either side. Hmm, but it's it's looking pretty good. I mean, this is almost looking good enough to go without a skin. It's going to get one, and that's going to be the last thing we do. But it's looking not so bad. Damn it! Pod, cargo pod, cargo pod, thirty six square yards each. Oh, not very big, frankly. And this. This, I think, we will deal with next time. How does that sound? Well, it's going to have to sound good, because for now I want to get the hell out of here. Uh, so, have a good... Well, for you, have a good week, since this comes out on Monday. And uh, please come again next time.